Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess Christmas Edition. I hope you're all well, having a very merry, merry Christmas. That song, Merry Christmas, baby, Santa comes this time of year. I don't know. I was listening to Christmas music yesterday, making um, Christmas cookies. I made the best oatmeal raisin walnut cookies. Um, I'm going to enjoy them now because I'm working with a trainer. I'm so excited. And if you're watching, mwah, I love you. And I am getting started on Tuesday with my weight loss health journey. So I will keep you all informed, but it is going to go well. I know it is. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. So a lot of you may be um, really thinking about what you're going to do in the new year. And if you're not, you should be. I want to check my mic. Good. It keeps shutting off. Um, if you are not setting intentions for this new year, I want you to just take a little time today and set intention, write five, my girls and I are doing it, write five things down that you want to accomplish by this time next year, fold it up, put it somewhere. Like I'm going to put it in our wrapping paper because I always use the same wrapping paper thing, you know? And so next year when I get the wrapping paper out, I will have it. I know it will be there and or put it somewhere safe and we are going to look if to see if we've accomplished our goals um, it's a really good um, little thing to challenge to do right just to have some fun maybe do it with your kids your older kids but it's important to set intention scorpio and um, this new year is going to bring so many blessings so much for you i just did a reading on what's coming in the next seven days and um I'm really excited for you all because there's a lot of good changes coming. That being said, we are going to hop into this energy. What is the truth? And I do have some pulled out. Uh, it, what the truth is here is it looks like this person is dealing with family issues. Okay. Or dealing with a baby mom, baby dad, or dealing with, um, you know, family issues in their family unit. It could be toxic all the time. It could be always um, bullshit. And this can also be inner child wounding. They could have grew up in a very toxic, chaotic environment, um, which did not do them much justice. Um, so they are, uh, use caution, they are promiscuous. And I feel one of the reasons why they are promiscuous is because of, of how they were raised. They may have seen a father that was a player. They may have not had a father figure. They may have been raised by the streets. They may have been raised with a mother who um, was in and out of their life or the, it was like a swinging door with men, right? There's something here going on. This person is very insecure, they have a lot of insecurities and that is the truth. It, it affects your connection. The other thing is, is very self-centered. So we have a self-centered, promiscuous, insecure person here dealing with family issues and hurt people hurt people. I feel like your person didn't intend to hurt you, but this is just how they operate. This is just what they know. Um, they could have gotten caught or they are about to get caught in a compromising position. They are about to get caught doing something they should not do. Um, but they are becoming clear about their future right now. So the truth is this person can be self-centered, can be selfish, insecure, has a lot of family issues, but they're trying to become clear about um, what they want in the future, how they want to um, deal with this connection. They've turned it into a stalemate. You possibly could have just, things could have just fizzled out with this person or you all went through an actual breakup because you caught them doing something, right? They could have been um, doing something with a third party, collaborating with a third party. It could have been at work. They could have meant this third party or um, you meant them at work and they already had a family or something like that. So we're going to start out clarifying with the tarot. Tell me about family issues. Yeah. See, this person here learned all of their ways. All of the things that they do um, has came, stemmed from these inner child wounding. It's one of the reasons why they work from passion, um, not from mind heart centered right? They're constantly working off passion. What's fun for them? What's, 
what um, feels good to them, the next best thing. There is healing here. They could be healing some family issues right now, healing, right? Um, there, there could be some things starting to calm down within their family unit. This could be an Aquarius or this could be a fire sign. Um, so what is safety for a spirit? They, they, they could have had some kind of new beginning, right? Um, that, well, now they're extremely aggressive and upside down in their energy. A lot of aggression. Um, this promiscuous, uh, this acting promiscuous is coming from a very hurt, unhealed place. They make two quick snap decisions. This person made a decision here. They make decisions. They get, um, you know, by the time they know it, they're laid up in bed with somebody. They make decisions out from their wand or from their uh, V. They don't make decisions from their head. It's constantly passion for them. This person makes moves from passion. They are very imbalanced right now. Very overly emotional. King of Cups in reverse. Cancer, Spi Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Very, very... Um, imbalanced in the way they're feeling right now. They really feel disconnected and bored. They don't even enjoy this anymore. They don't even enjoy being out here like this. It's like sit down somewhere and heal, right? This person needs to go sit down and heal. But instead, they're constantly making quick, quick judgments out of their, um, out of passion. What are they insecure about here? This person could have just heard some really bad news, okay? They could have been, um, they could have heard bad news that's made them very insecure, right? They do want to take um, the lead here and bring you in the truth and tell you how insecure they really fucking are. They're going to come up in here and tell you they've heard some bad news here, page of wands in reverse, something that they were not expecting. It made them very insecure and very confused. Maybe if they are with a third party, they've heard a third party cheated. Maybe they heard, uh, you know, something about their family. Maybe something bad's happened within their family unit here, and they're trying to heal from it. Maybe they lost a parent, a brother, a sister, uh, um, a cousin, somebody very close to them. There was some bad news that was brought in. This person now is not in a good mindset and they're very insecure, um, but they are bringing you the truth about something. They are taking the lead. This could be a fire sign. We have water again, as well as air. I feel like the truth will come. This person could have already been in a commitment with somebody or is in a commitment with somebody right now and they could be getting caught doing something or you caught them doing something with this third party, right? Um, now, if it's not a third party, an actual person, it could be work. It could be, you know, uh, friends, family, but they slammed these 10 daggers in your back but because they were being selfish. This is clarifying preoccupied. They were being selfish and they could have meant somebody new. They could have meant somebody new here in the Ace of Cups. And they were very selfish. They didn't even think about your feelings. They didn't think about how this was going to hurt you. Um, they didn't put y'all's relationship first. And I feel like they either cut you out of their life or you had to cut them. Now, they could have been dealing with a ex, a ex-wife, a ex-husband, um, a baby dad, a baby mom. They could have been dealing with somebody from their past, okay? Um, but I feel some of them meant somebody new. You could be the new person, and this person is very selfish. They want their cake, and they want to eat it too. They wanted to keep both of you. They either wanted to stay in their family, and their, their family unit, to stay married or stay committed, committed, and be with you on the side, make you a side chick or dude, or they um, did this to you. They were going to keep a side piece while y'all were together. And this is very selfish of them. What about getting caught up, spirit? What is this? What is the truth about this? Yeah. They were acting out of passion, right? In the Knight of Wands energy. They definitely got caught doing something sexual or something, talking to somebody. Some of you could have found messages. 
somebody could be in a commitment with a person that found messages. If that has not happened, it is about to. I feel this third party is catching them doing something because I don't feel you're with them right now. Um, and I, I sense that the truth is this person is about to get caught. They have been juggling. All right. Maybe they were juggling you. They have, they could have children with somebody. You could have known them from childhood. But the thing is here is whatever is happening or whatever happened was meant to be, right? It was destined. It was already in the stars. And um, I feel you meeting this person was a destined relationship. If this person was still married and you meant them, it was because it was it was destiny. This person is a soulmate, is a, um, you know, is in your soul tribe. They could be your emperor or empress, but this person is extremely stubborn, always trying to have their way, very selfish, and, and they just did whatever the fuck they wanted here. Whatever, what, what, as the wind blew, that's what they did. They didn't put your relationship, they didn't consider your relationship. And if they were with a third party and meant you, they didn't consider their relationship with a third party. I mean, you know, if they had a family with somebody else, guys, like they, they had no business running around meeting somebody new. But since they have meant you, um, you know, they fell in love with you. They want, they can't help their self. So it's like, what do they do now? They're trying to get clear about their future. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. They are definitely trying to get clear about taking a leap of faith towards you um, or staying in this commitment or having a commitment with you. Okay. Or staying in their, their, they're already, if they're already married, they are trying to decide if they want to take a leap of faith towards you or stay in their marriage. If they're not already committed, they want, they're trying to decide if they want this 10 of pentacles with you they are trying to manifest right now but they are um you know not having any results because they're not coming from a a um good intentions right they don't they're not coming from from um you know a, a, a loving intention they're coming from they want what they want so the thing is, is they're having a hard time manifesting you. This person needs to get out of this self-centered, preoccupied energy and really start um, making clear decisions with their mind and their heart, not their wand, right? Not their passion. What, what are they getting clear about, spirit? What are they getting clear about? Yeah, again, guys, who they won the Ten of Cups with. Is exactly what they're getting clear about the truth is this person here is in their mind they feel beat up they feel like they don't know which way to go do they want to um, have the ten of cups ten of Pentacles with you do they want to stay with a third party or do they want to um, you know, leave a third party. Maybe if they're not in a commitment already, then they're definitely, they've got commitment and marriage on their mind. Honestly, this person does. Like they are thinking, if I go with Scorpio, it's the end all be all. I'm going to have the 10 of pentacles and the cup, 10 of cups with Scorpio. This is going to be our future, right? What is, what, what should I take this leap of faith? Can I get out of my fucking head long enough to manifest out of a good heart and, and, and head, you know, an equal head, equal heart space, or am I just going to keep running around being passionate, running with the wind, blow, go, going where the wind blows? I feel they could have got caught doing something with you, Scorpio. I feel they could have got caught messaging you or, or being with you. I sense that this person was possibly already in a marriage or something and um they got caught now if you all have been broke up for a while and they're with a third party they got caught doing something because they're promiscuous because they've been running around trying to um fill a cup that needs to be filled up from inside of them running around trying to forget about you or trying to stuff this pain down this person not only did this to you but they did this to their self they have done this to their self wedding rings bottom of the deck tell me spirit what is the truth about what is going on with with scorpio's person 
the person on Scorpio's mind. What is going on with the person on Scorpio's mind? Yeah, they're coming in with the truth, guys. Truth, clarity here, revelations, right? They're they're literally coming and again, passion. They're working. I, I can't say it anymore. This is a person that I'm channeling today that is working clearly, purely out of passion. There is insane chemistry between y'all, and that's great. But this person here is just running around having fun. They're not doing, you know, they're not thinking clear enough to make decisions if, one, if they want the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups with you. They want to be playful. They want to come in and enjoy each other. Twin flame, bottom of the deck. This could definitely be your divine counterpart. Tell me, spirit, what is the true intentions here of this person? They're working out of passion, guys, not out of um, where they should be. Yeah, that it's taking time. Spirit saying it takes time, needs time, healing, okay? There is progress, though. There's more progress than you think. And I just had a card drop on the floor. Um, they're being strategic. They're not showing you their hand. They're not showing anybody their hand. I feel they're working. Um, yeah, they're watching. They're looking. They're focused on you. They're watching, watching, watching. I feel they're making moves in silence because there's going to be a sudden change, a, a quick change change is an upheaval a transit like a, a tower moment they're talking to friends about you they're they're um you know asking girlfriends ask, asking guy friends what they should do um about this relationship and uh if their girlfriends and guy friends are as toxic as their family then this is a good thing you go reminiscing here they're reminiscing they miss you, Scorpio. But the thing is, is this person is only making moves out of passion. And they need to be making moves out of a different space. Because if they run on in here in the night energy, right, guys, they're going to go right back out. You don't want this. They do seem to be bossing up from the knight to the king, which I like. But the king can also be, you know, quite egotistical, quite selfish. But I do like that they're going from the knight to the king, man or woman. So even if this is a feminine, they are bossing up here into the masculine. They could just have very masculine energy. My goodness, guys, I just rolled out of bed here this morning. So please do not mind, <laughs> mind me. I know you guys don't care how I look, but, you know, I bedhead is all I can say. Holy Spirit, please tell me, what is this person's intentions? See, they are so burdened. They are so burdened. Sorrow, guilt, suffering. This person is literally suffering from what they've done. Uh, maturity here, wisdom, experience, long process. This person could be older than you. You could be older than them. You don't have to be. But spirit is saying there will be a win, but there's been a delay and have patience. Um, we have Capricorn here, so it could be in Capricorn season, which we are in now. They look at you like you are very wise, but they want to have sex with you. They really want to have sex with you. And um, everything else I feel they're confused about, but what they do know, yeah, thank you, Spirit, is that they want they want to have very, <laughs> they're very sexually in charged when it comes to you. Now, we could be talking about a female or I could be talking to a female here, but we have the 29th and Taurus. So something could happen here on the 29th of this month or by the 29th of uh, Taurus season, which is April. That's my daughter's birthday, April 29th. The Holy Spirit, please tell me. I mean, yeah, to me, uh, yeah, April 29th. Yeah, rolling the dice, gamble, risk, playing with fate, though, unpredictable. And this is what I mean. This person is quite unpredictable, guys. They just don't know um, which way they're going. They're going with where the wind blows, really. What will this person do? So I would say by the end of April, the 29th of April, you could hear from this person, right? You could definitely hear from them. They're trying to gain their independence. They could be having actually, they could have gotten into a actual fist fight or you know a violent like physical altercation with somebody in their family recently or some or a third party about you they could be fighting with family about you but they're lacking the courage to make decisions but we do ho hopefully this person will start 
um, being more um, self-reliant. They'll make this decision here to take this gamble. Um, but yeah, see, they're, they're trying to live the good life. And they are really, really fearful about settling down this one. They were immature. They were playing games with you. They wanted, they always wanted to, to, to win. They broke your heart and promises here. They were always trying to one up you in some way, Scorpio. I feel like this person would feel like, even though it wasn't true, I feel like they would constantly feel like you were trying to play games or you were like they had a problem with other people being attracted to you or they had a problem with you talking to other people like because they literally are this insecure. They were always thinking that you were um, seeing other people, always playing the game like, oh, well, I'll show them, you know, I'm going to do this because they did this or I, I think they're talking to somebody else, so I'm going to do this like kind of thing, you know. And I feel like it really affected your relationship because they were always thinking you were playing games, but they were the one playing games. I am frustrated with myself. I have regrets. I have regrets. I can't get you off my mind. I'm working on being a better version of me. Well, they are, they are moving from a knight to a king energy. So I will give them that. They could be actually trying to work on their self. They could be actually trying to get themselves right, right? They absolutely, absolutely could be. I can't get these cards. So give me two more messages from Scorpio's person spirit. Two more, one more. <clears throat> I felt, I felt out of control with my feelings. I need time and space to regroup. I didn't mean to hurt you. Yeah. Yeah, see, this is the thing. This person here was so selfish. They just did not realize that they were hurting you. They were just trying to decide all the time, this or that, this or that. But they were working out a passion and out here being promiscuous because they're trying to, to um, fill something inside their self, guys. This person, they, it's not about wanting to be with other people with this person. It's about wanting to um, avoid thinking, wanting to feel, feel like this person is constantly trying to feel. I wasn't ready for anything like this. They weren't. They really weren't. This is the truth. This person here, guys, was not. They weren't ready to boss up. They weren't. They weren't ready to become an emperor or empress. They were just out here running around. And now they are asking themselves, can I do this? Can I give Scorpio this? And for some of you, the answer is going to be yes. But for some of you, the answer is going to be no. So guys, focus your energy on you, baby. Focus on you. What can you do today to make you make your life better, to be better? What can you do in this hour? Because the best revenge is to boss up is to be in your bag, is to feel your best, is to look your best, not sitting around here crying. This person really cares a lot for you. They do love you. They're just, they were not ready. They were not, they were not ready for what you wanted. And, um, it's really hard pill to swallow, but it, it's, it's just, it happens. It happens guys. You were more mature. You were, you were ready for something that they weren't. It had nothing to do with you not being good enough or, or sexy enough, or, um, you didn't make enough money or you weren't man enough or whatever the case is. It had everything to do with this person's inner child issues, being selfish and not being ready to commit. Um, reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease on life. What, Come on now, right? It's time, Scorp. Start really thinking about what you want to be, who you want to be by this time next year. Start. Start it, baby. You're going to be so happy. The, the divine is, is sending you an energy to help you do this. You, you have the support of the divine here to reinvent yourself. Start thinking about what you can do to be better, to look better, to feel better, to have more, to change your life. Because this is the time to start reinventing yourself. Work from this pain, um, be an alchemist, right? Um, opportunities, an important offer will be made. Be prepared to dress to impress. 
new opportunities coming in as well. Beautiful new opportunities. It's a new year, baby. It's a new you. A new year, a new you. Remember, all I do is win. Universe, I'm open to receive. Tell yourself that three times every day. Love and light.